Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we are building 10 different kitchens. I really like building separate rooms in The Sims, which is where I kind of got the idea to make this video. And instead of showing you the whole process of me building just one kitchen, I decided to speed things up and instead show you all 10 that I've built today. The rooms are all inspired by different things and or packs, so they're all a little bit different from each other and I hope that this will give you some ideas to use in your own builds or make you more inspired. And if you actually really like these specific kitchen rooms, I will be sure to add all of them to the Sims 4 gallery so you can download them and use them in your game. I love these rooms all separately for their individual features, but my top three rooms would have to be this dark industrial kitchen, the Victorian one that you're gonna see just a little later because it's just so different from the rest and there would have to be a tie between the one with a million plants which you saw first and the last one which was very bright and colorful. Even the sim in this industrial kitchen is so cute. I think that one would be perfect fit into pretty much any of the city living apartments which was the inspiration for that kitchen to begin with. This one is different since it has the laundry machine and the dryer in the kitchen. I don't know if anyone still does that but when I was growing up we had the laundry machine in the kitchen and for some reason I never do that in the sims so I thought why not. Next up is the pets inspired kitchen, so we even have an aquarium in this room. I think the cats and dogs pack had many nice appliances, couches, tables, decorations, which make the perfect family kitchen in my opinion. Kitchen number 7 is inspired by the Mount Komorebi world. Um, from the Sims 4 Snowy Escape expansion pack and it is also a little different since it actually has a pantry and I have never built a kitchen with a pantry in the Sims 4, I don't think. I don't know why because building the pantry area, making it all cluttered, that was my absolute favorite part of this build. Next up we have the teen mom kitchen. Just look how cute the wallpaper in that room is. I love bright and colorful builds so much so this one is definitely one of my favorites. I mean they all are, I love them all. <laughs> this one is filled with more childish stuff than the other ones. It's less put together since there is a teen living here with their toddler. Probably doesn't have too much time because of school and work so the room is a little bit more messy. The Victorian kitchen is in the top three for sure. It's darker but the fireplace makes it so cozy. The kitchen is pretty small to fit in a seating area for the big family. The fridge and the stove match the build perfectly and I'm so happy to have this much variation in this game where you can build a modern kitchen and the Victorian kitchen. And lastly, the yellow kitchen, as I started calling it while building. I think it's pretty obvious why. Love the yellow, love the plants, love the green that they bring into the room, and the whole interior design of this build. But that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye!